Every single day, people reach out to me with the same burning question. What should I pursue if I have zero experience in tech? Manual or automation testing? But before we dive in, let's clear something up. If you have no previous experience in manual testing, you cannot just jump directly into test automation. It's like trying to run before you actually learn how to walk. You need to get solid base of the manual testing and only then you can proceed into test automation. So that is not an option. I'm going to be very straight with you guys, just as I would be talking to my best friend with no bullshit on the top. And that's actually how this whole bootcamp have started. Six years ago, I have launched completely for free with a guy who paid zero dollars. Today, he's making over $200,000 working from Japan for the US-based company. So, let me tell you how it all began. Back then, I was working as the QA automation engineer and one day, I met a guy named Anthony at the beach during a workout. A couple of months later, he asked me a question that have changed his life completely. How can I become a cool tech guy like you who drives Tesla? and who's working out at the beach every single day. I laughed about it, but I told him, you know what, let me give it a shot and I'll try to help you out. I didn't give him an option to do manual testing. I told him that we're gonna go through the full course. You're gonna learn manual and automation testing. And even then, there were more jobs in automation than manual. And now the digits or the gap is even bigger. Back then, we had 60% of all jobs in automation and about 40 in manual. Right now, we have 75 in automation and 25 in manual. Guess what's gonna happen in five years? You are correct. By the way, all of these digits are from my own research. If you want to get the exact numbers, feel free to check it out on your own. And since Anthony, I've helped countless people transition into QA automation engineers. But the things have changed. Many boot camps started focusing on scaling often at the expense of the quality. And I was like, you know what? If you want to go for the manual course, not a problem at all. I'm going to split my course into two. And now we have manual and automation. So you could give a shot to manual and then if you enjoy it, you can move on to automation. But here's my honest advice, guys. If you're looking for the cheapest option and you aren't in rush to land a high paying job quickly, but if you want the best chance of high paying job as quickly as possible, then full course is what you need. With a manual course, you'll get two months of internship in the US-based startup. Sounds solid, right? But with the full course, you're gonna get 5.5 or to be exact, 22 weeks in a US-based startup. When it comes to the interview preparation, guys, the manual course offers up to 48 rounds of the interview prep, while the full course offers up to 132 rounds. That's including interview preparation with this guy, with the professional HR that I've hired from the market, and with other students and mentors. And that's exactly why one of our students named Mariella said this. My husband even said, the boot camp is paying off because he knows how nervous I get when informal things. I really think I have the job. They just said on Monday, I will have news on the next step. So I am really positive about it. And let's not forget a job market. There are simply more opportunities in automation, as I mentioned before. And no matter what you guys decide to do, here's something exciting. We've recently launched a free week of education, pretty much an introductory course, to almost 300 people from all over the world. And guess what? They've loved it. Many of them are already enrolled in the full course, and you will see their success story on this YouTube channel soon. And that's exactly why we've decided to offer an improved version of that free introductory course, now even with more value, for the price of 20 bucks, to at least cover some of the software costs that you're gonna be using. And one of our potential students today have started laughing when I told her that the one week introduction course is going to cost her 20 bucks. But getting rich is not my goal with the introductory course. It's to show you guys what QA job actually is before you commit for the full course to change your life. So if you wanna try it yourself, not only in the QA course, but also in a position of the QA engineer in an internship of the US-based startup for one week for the price of the coffee and croissant, Hit the link right below this video and I'll see you on our very first webinar in just a couple of weeks. Thank you for watching us and I'll see you on the inside.